What is going on, everybody? My name is Payne. I'm accompanied by my new co-host, Josiah Hall. Josiah is basically an expert in this sport, so whatever he says, unless it's the opposite of what I say, is probably right. So last week, we had a half-decent week. I was 3-2 and two in guessing games. Um, that Cowboy game was kind of tragic. I genuinely thought the Chargers were going to win that one. But who cares? It's a new week, new me. We're going to start out local game, Lions versus Ravens. You know, Lions are literally ranked the top team right now. They are number one in the whole NFL. Um, if you woke up from a coma that you've been in for 10 years and someone said that to you, I think you'd probably fall right back into that coma. You wouldn't believe it. But, you know, most of the time Lions did get victory last year in a couple years, but they were close games. Mm -mm, these Lions are winning by 14, 21 points. I mean, they held the... Uh, whatever you call them, the, we should call them the Mayfields because that's all the team is. Baker Mayfield's team, the Buccaneers, they got held to six points, which is two field goals. And Jameer Gibbs, the greatest running back of all time, is going to come back and he's going to score his first touchdown. They're going to hold the Ravens' offense to a perfect, like, maybe, I don't know, 17 points, but then the Lions are going to get 34. So we're taking 34 17 Lions W. I have the Lions too. Um, I mean, they're the best team in the NFC. Um, they have an electric offense and defense, and the Ravens have a pretty good offense, but, I mean, they lost to the Steelers. Like, come on. So I have the Lions winning this 35-10. to 10. Game of the week, because there's no London game, so this is game of the week. Chargers versus Chiefs. Now, these teams hate each other, but um, it's always a top division rival chat, uh, matchup. But the Chiefs normally do end up winning this every year. But this isn't every year. This is the Chargers year, even though they lost the Cowboys. This is the Chargers year. Now the Chargers pass game and run game should be able to beat the Char uh, be able to beat the Chiefs alone. But like the defense is gonna have a tough time holding Mahomes because I mean he's probably like the greatest quarterback of all time. You know, he's like Tom Brady's dad. But um, you know, even though it's gonna be a good game, it's gonna be a close game. And I honestly think we're gonna put it. On the kicker, they like, his last name is Dicker, so they call him Dicker the Kicker. It's going to be put on Dicker the Kicker's foot. He's going to win the game 31-28 Chargers. I have the Chiefs, or the Chargers beating the Chiefs because the Chiefs have been extremely inconsistent. Um, I mean, they beat the, I think it was the Broncos, like 18-9 to last week. So, crazy. I mean, their offense have been, has been extremely inconsistent. So, I mean... I have the Chargers winning this one, 28-21. Now, divisional game of the week. Um, this might be a new thing if we don't have any like away games in London. This will be the divisional game, Bills versus Patriots. When you think of division rivals, you think of these two, basically. So the Bills and Patriots are big rivals. Normally, they kind of tip towards um, the Patriots. Even when Mac Jones was a rookie, I think he still won it most against the, Patri or against the Bills. But not this year. The Patriots are tanking. For Caleb Williams, they are trash. Matt Jones is trash. The whole quarterback room is trash. Put in Malik Cunningham or Matt Carell. Now let me tell you, Matt Jones, he's going to do terrible in the first quarter. They're going to throw in Malik Cunningham, who's going to be the promise child. But he's not going to be the promise enough because they're going to lose this game. It's going to be like 38 to 10 Bills. I have the Bills winning it because even though he's been inconsistent, it's Josh Allen. Like, you can't really bet against him because he is such an X factor. Um, and I don't think the Patriots are going to be able to cover Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis. Um, and, I mean, the Patriots are a poverty franchise now, which – so, yeah. I have the Bills winning this one 31-7. Sunday night is going to be super good. Everybody better watch that. Sunday night, Dolphins versus Eagles. The Eagles didn't – had the best week with um, the Jets and Jalen Hurts. I mean, he did throw three turnovers, which made me lose fantasy by one point, but it's all right. But I think that he's going to have some motivation to play this game. You know, he's going to, even though it looked terrible against the Jets, I mean, the Jets are going to be a playoff team, I think, so who cares. But the, the Dolphins are a really good team. They're just kind of consistent, too. And I think with that little QB sneak little, butt shove thing they do. Brotherly shove. Yeah, brotherly shove. You're not stopping that. All right, you can go fourth and inches, boom. Fourth and inches, boom. Fourth and one, boom. Touchdown. Jalen Hurts goes many six fantasy points. 28-21 Eagles. Roll Tide. Uh, this one is tough because, I mean, they both have 
really good offenses and defenses, and because of that, I think this is going to be a relatively low-scoring game. Um, I don't think the Eagles will really be able to cover the dual threat of Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. They might, because it's the Eagles, and you can't ever like bet against them. Um, but I mean, it's the Dolphins, and even without Devin A. Chain or whatever his last name is, they still have a stud running back in Raheem Mostert. Um, and yeah, I mean, the Eagles have a good defense, but they also have a good offense. I mean, A.J. Brown, um, Devontae Smith, Jalen Hurts. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a close game, um, but I still have the Dolphins winning it 28-17. to 17. The Eagles just picked up Julio Jones from franchise. They're winning the Super Bowl. Nope. Monday night, 49ers versus Vikings. I don't even know why we're covering this game. This game's not even going to be close. <laughs> even if Justin Jefferson was in, this game wasn't going to be close. Even if neither of the, even if both of the players were healthy, like Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel, game had no chance. Even with them out, this game has no chance. If the Vikings even score, I have them scoring 21 points. Honestly, if they score 21, that's a good chance for the Vikings to even be a good team, because they're trash. <laughs> uh, the Vikings have no chance. I mean. Just like what Peyton said, the 49ers are a juggernaut. And even though they lost Debo, and I don't know if McCaffrey is coming back next week or not, um, they still have Kittle and Ayuk. So, I mean, it's going to be the same 49ers. Um, and, yeah, they don't have the best receiver anymore because he's injured. Uh, so, yeah, I have the 49ers winning this 42-17. to 17. I forgot to say that my score was 49 the 49ers are scoring 49 to 21. Come back next week to see how many games I got right. <laughs>